Hey up lads and lasses, Danfire here, back again with some more Infinite Lagrange. We are carrying on today, we're showing off the graphics of all the ships, uh, well at least all the ships I've got, which is most of them, I'm only missing a few, um, and we're doing the destroyers. So, as per the frigates from last time, we'll just go through in order, I've got a couple maxed, I don't have some maxed, and I can show off a couple of the variants, I have a fair amount of them. Um, so yeah, let's just jump in uh, to try and keep this video short. First up, we got the Guardian. So this is where I think, when I was talking about the Noma and the Frigate one, uh, if you recall, I mentioned that the hangars all sort of look similar, and that's why the hangars look fine on the Noma, but the rest of it didn't. Uh, I think it's due to that, because as you can see here, this is like, obviously pretty good on all the armor front fronts a little bit shaky uh but there is plenty of detail there for certain uh, but you can definitely see the detail going all the way down we have the missiles on top and yeah just a really cool ship this is very um uh, uh star not stargate one of those things <laughs> star trek this ship is very star trek for me because of the uh, thruster system being set at the back and the sort of shape and way that it's set up. Uh, and then you have, you know, like your forward bit with your command bridge and stuff like that. It's very much like if this was round, that could be an Enterprise ship, like 100%. The, the, like, it, it's very Star Trek inspired, which I don't dislike. I think uh, there's some cool ships in Star Trek. I'm not the biggest fan of Star Trek ships, but there is some cool ones. So there you go. That is the Guardian. I do have maxed on dual purpose, so I can show that off. So here is the Guardian maxed with the graphics update. Again, we can see some extension, the extension at the front here from being maxed and uh, some more armoured sections and stuff like that. But I think the uh, thruster emplacement changes slightly as well. Yeah, pretty cool. I like that the, the graphics, like you can really obviously see that there's gaps between certain sections of armoured plating and stuff like that. Just uh, gives a bit more of a, a nice approach to how the ships were designed. So there you go. There is your maxed Guardian. Uh, pulse cannon, not really different here. Obviously, you have uh, these parts where the hangars used to be for the support have now turned into um, places for the pulse weaponry. Does it actually lose the missiles? I've not really looked at this one too much since uh, for a while anyway. Yeah, it drops the missiles, you get a pulse cannon on top. That makes sense. Doesn't really look like a pulse cannon though, does it? So, as uh, Guardian, I only have the base version of the Tundra, unfortunately, and I have no tech points into it because I don't use it. So, unfortunately, can't show this maxed. It's a shame because the Tundra Max is actually quite a cool looking ship. But we can see here, loads more detail. Some of the armor plating, like the front section and starting to go down the side, seems to maybe be the, the previous uh, graphics, but I can't confirm that. It's it's blurry, but it's not like ridiculously blurry. It could just be the fact that Noma ships kind of look like this anyway because of the, the green armor, the, the green camo they need in space. Um, but yeah, you can see plenty of details down the sides and stuff, which is cool. And yeah, the cannons have all been updated and yeah. Not bad looking ship. We then go over to the Aldebra. And yeah, you can definitely see here, again, similar with the armor, it does look a little blurry. And on this front section, the, the two side parts of the front section are definitely still a bit blurry. Uh, but the rest of it is quite cool, especially these cannons look really good in this like, sort of level of detail. Really cool looking ship. The Chimera looks like awesome with the cannons the detail on the cannons and stuff so i've got the heavy cannon version i'm just like yeah that looks like it's got a purpose of blowing stuff up 
So there you go, the Aldebra. Uh, we next up we have the Taurus, and yeah, again, really cool. So this is the uh, new turret. Uh, it's blurred and like looks terrible in the old one, but as you can see here, it's like fully realized. And I didn't realize it's basically a ball, uh, which is kind of cool. I mean, it makes sense if you need to aim and stuff and it's on the front of the ship. This is probably the best sort of option you'd have of making a turret that's uh, like a ball. So, yeah, really quite cool. And, yeah, loads of details going down the side again. I love how you can see, like, all these rooms and stuff on the ships now, like, a lot better. Because this was all sort of blurred with the lights. Uh, we got a lot more sort of lighting going on as well, which is quite nice. But yeah, really cool looking. I think Taurus is one of the, the cooler ships in the game. Unfortunately, don't have the assault or defensives to show off. Ceres, my favourite, or one of my favourites. Because it's a bit of an odd designed ship. Although it's still actually, actually considering it's symmetrical... Because I don't usually like symmetrical ships. I do like the asymmetry ships. I mean, yeah, there is a bit of asymmetry. Because obviously you have the hangar on one side. And then nothing on the other. I wonder why they chose to do that. It's probably something to do with like. You've got your, your hangar one side. And then the right hand side is maybe communications for the fighters. And that kind of thing. Or then, then what's the giant box at the front. With the added sort of antennas and that kind of thing. You have your two bridges at the top, your conning tower and command bridge. Yeah, definitely looks a lot better, especially if you come down here and you're looking at this sort of rear end. Very cool. Uh, support ship, pretty much the same thing. Hangers on the other side. Oh, it's actually got two hangers. There you go. Got a mini hanger and a big hanger. Don't unfortunately have the tactical to show off, but I'm guessing that's going to look like the base, considering that sort of shape. Uh, AC721. Again, useful shit pretty much throughout the game. If you don't have Guardian put uh, dual purpose or Tundra, actually you no, know, Tundra aircraft wouldn't come into it. If you don't have Guardian dual purpose, this is your nest best. Uh, next best option for bringing in Corvettes so you'll see this thing a lot and they've done a pretty good job of this I actually really like this because you couldn't really tell this was storage before but if you look at it in this uh, sort of fatality you can definitely tell these kind of look a bit like cargo uh, pods or something like that uh, down the side here which is yeah really nice again the cannons look fantastic Definitely a cool ship. Uh, not much changing with the missile type. As you can see, you got some of these cargo pods uh, aren't there because this one doesn't hold as much storage as the generic. And you have the missile systems up top. And then we have the aircraft type. Similar situation with the missiles uh, type where the cargo is sort of not as there anymore like there's a section of cargo missing to show you that it's not there and underneath you have the corvette docking points catch points so there you go that is the aircraft ac721 we then have the eris I don't know if my heavy cannon's max. We'll see shortly. So this is the base Eris. Looks really good with the new cannons. It's just a very cool ship in general. Someone might be able to confirm this. Mandalore ships. Back in like the Star Wars universe. Didn't they have a ship very similar shape to this thing? Or is it just me? I'm pretty certain it was Mandalore anyway. Obviously, you know, you can kind of say it's got a Star Destroyer look to it from Empire. But I think there was a Mandalore ship like this. So there we go. 
great looking ship looks fantastic with all the extra detail going on with it now check out the heavy cannon now i do not have it maxed quite i am missing propulsion stuff how much are these two four six so i'd need 12 tech points to potentially max it i think i've got everything else maxed no 12 14 tech points can i can i just stick 14 into it yeah that's maxed We can stick 14 into it. Let's do that quick. Let's max it. Uh, cruising speed is 850 anyway, so let's grab some. It doesn't actually matter. My fleet doesn't generally fly faster than 850 anyway. So, there we go. That is it maxed. Let's just refresh there. There we go. Maxed out Eris. Very cool. The cannon on this thing is absolutely ridiculous. It's like what? 10% of the ship size. <laughs> Gotta love the design philosophy of that though, haven't you? What can we do to make this ship better? Put a bigger gun on it. Definitely very cool. So, that's the heavy cannon. Obviously the armoured, you have the extra armoured plating down the sides and stuff like that. And these black accents on the armor plates just clap, like, just looks great on the white ship. This is one of the few ships where I sit there and it's like, do I want to put a skin on this? Because it just looks cool anyway. I'd like it in the white. Uh, next up, we have the Quarrow And yeah, got the giant cannon at the front. Oh, the interesting ship design. Again, this quite reminds me Star Wars-y. Mostly because these bits here, these sort of like, the, the round bits that come up from the midsection, just kind of remind me of like R2-D2 poking out of uh, the X-Wings and B-Wings and stuff like that. But otherwise, yeah, definitely a really cool looking ship. And we'll have a quick look at the torpedo type because the front section does change for that. So you have the torpedo launcher instead. But the rest of it is pretty much the same. So there we go. That is the Quawa, Quawa torpedo ship. Uh, and last but not least, the winged Tassar. Another really cool design. This kind of reminds me of like submarines and stuff like that. It's just a, it's a cool design. Something that I do like about this game in general is just the ship design. They they just look great. Like other than a couple, like okay, you're probably never gonna like all the ships in anything, but most of the ships are pretty cool in this game. I just have a couple of favorites. So there is the base wing to Sar. And yeah, missile pods down the side are all like super high fidelity. Definitely very cool. Uh, don't think much changes. Oh, the integrator, the front end changes, doesn't it? Because you get the uh, extra torque launcher at the front instead of the railgun. You got your quad launcher there. And then we have the aircraft type, which gets the sensor array. Also, very cool. Yeah, the devs have generally done a pretty good job with pretty much all these ships. Anyway, uh, I don't think I'm missing any destroyers. That is all of them at the current moment in the game. Obviously missing a couple of variants, but they do more or less look the same. And obviously I don't have them all maxed. Uh, but there, I think that'll do, because uh, this video is probably 15 minutes long. So yeah, there you go. Hope you have a good one, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Oh, and do drop down in the comments and go which one you preferred, which is your favorite destroyer. We should do that for all of them. Favorite frigate, favorite destroyers. Maybe I'll poll it. I'll do a poll and we'll try and find out what everyone's favorite ship in the game is. And we'll do like a, 
I'll do a daily community post where you choose between one or four ships and then that one goes through to the next round or something like that. Just have a bit of fun. So there you go. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and I'll catch you next time.